Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. Uh, welcome, uh, Grade 4, for today's uh, from Sons uh, lesson. Now, we are going to continue from where we stopped uh, the last time, uh, and we are still uh, looking at uh, the topic uh, taking care of our shoes. We have already seen that we have different types of shoes, uh, we have different uh, materials that are used to make our shoes, uh, and uh, it is important now how to learn uh, to clean uh, our shoes. And uh, the shoes that we are going to start with today are what we refer to as uh, the leather shoes. Now we say that uh, the leather shoes uh, are worn uh, in different parts. Uh, for example, when you are going to school, uh, when people are attending uh, office work, uh, when uh, we are attending uh, certain uh, ceremonies like weddings, uh, and the bride, the, uh, the bride, the bridegroom is always dressed in uh, uh, leather shoes. Now it is important uh, that uh, we learn how to uh, take care of these shoes uh, when uh, they become dirty. Now when it comes to cleaning the leather shoes, uh, uh, there are items that are required uh, to do this uh, activity. The items, as you can see with me here, I have uh, some of them uh, displayed uh, with me. And uh, we shall uh, see what each item is used uh, for. So, first of all, uh, you require uh, some uh, water, water, and of course uh, that water will be in a basin. Uh -huh. So you have a basin, a basin, uh -huh. we have a piece of cloth, we require a piece of cloth, you have a piece of cloth, here it is, here is my piece of cloth that you are going to use, uh -huh. we require a brush. A shoe brush that uh, that is uh, for polishing. A shoe brush. A shoe brush. A shoe brush. Uh, we also require what you call polish. And at times uh, we also require a blunt stick. I uh, will explain uh, uh, to you what is the purpose of this uh, blunt stick. Now, those are the basic items that you require when uh, you want to uh, clean your leather shoes. Now, uh, for this uh, blunt stick, the main purpose of it is to remove, to remove mud, to remove mud in case your shoes are muddy. So, the blunt stick. The main purpose of it is to remove man. But uh, if the shoes are not muddy, like uh, mine are not, we don't require. Uh, we don't require the what? We don't require the blunt. Uh, the blunt stick. But uh, we require the other items. Now, the first thing that uh, you should do uh, when you want to clean these shoes uh, is to remove, uh, to remove uh, the dust. To remove the dust. And how do you do it? Uh, there are several ways you can uh, remove dust from your shoes. One is whereby uh, you use your dry piece of cloth. The piece of cloth that you had. You just uh, wipe, you just wipe, you remove the dust, uh, you remove the dust from the shoe uh, like that. Uh -huh. You remove the dust, you remove the dust uh, from there. Uh -huh. You pick uh, your other shoe. You remove the dust uh, that is there by wiping it uh, all around, by wiping it all around, by wiping it all around. Now, uh, also, uh, you can uh, use uh, the polish brush, you can use the brush to remove uh, the dust, uh, or you have saved the piece of cloth to remove uh, the dust, just as you, uh, as you should do it. Just take uh, the, uh, the brush and the shoe. Uh, you be like uh, as if you are polishing it. So that's another way of removing uh, the dust. Now, once uh, you remove the dust, uh, you take uh, your piece of cloth, you dip it in the water. Dip it in the water. Now, it is important that uh, as you are coming to clean the shoe, you wring all the water. 
you make sure that you have removed all the water from there, from the piece of cloth. Because uh, if you happen to use so much water on uh, the leather material, it will easily get spot. So you come and clean your shoe nicely, all the areas, all the areas, uh -huh, inside the outsider, you come and clean it properly, you clean it properly, making sure that uh, the dust that had remained after you tried to remove it with a dry piece of cloth is over. Yes, you come and clean it, you clean it well, all round, all round, uh, like that. You clean it all like that. Now, uh, you can also remove the laces to make it easy for you to clean. Very good. You remove them like that. And the tongue of the, of the shoe, you clean it properly. I take the lace and pick the laces and clean it with your damp piece of cloth. You clean like that. If it is very, very dirty, you can put it in water and uh, be able to and uh, wash it. But for our case, ours is not very dirty, so you just need to pull it in the piece of cloth and it will be all right. Now, once you have done that, uh, leave your shoe to dry for a few uh, minutes, maybe one or two minutes as you clean and or handle the other one. Uh -huh. you handle it uh, like that, just the way you did to the other one. You remove your laces, remove your laces like that. You clean it round, you clean it round like that, round, making sure you have covered all the areas where the dust might not have come out. You clean it round, round, round like that. All right. Once you are through with the cleaning, uh, you leave it uh, uh, to dry and don't put it in the sun, in the direct sunlight to dry. Put it under a shade uh, so that it can dry. Now, once it is dry, let's take our first shoe, which I believe is already dry by now. Now you pick your kiwi, your shoe polish. You pick it, right? You pick. Mine is becoming very difficult to open. So you pick uh, your shoe polish. Once you have uh, opened it up. Once you have opened it up, okay, so this one is, doesn't have the time you are going for ways of opening it up. Now, once uh, you open it up, you touch uh, some of the kiwi with your brush, and as you polish your shoe, you take it round and round, you take the brush round and round like that. You take it round and round, covering all the areas. You take it round and round, covering all the areas, all the shoe. Uh -huh. You smudge again. You take it round and round like that, covering all the areas of your shoe so that it can uh, get all the kiwi. You take it round, round and round until all the parts of your shoe are covered with the kiwi. Now, once that one is done, if you are not going to wear your shoes immediately or you want to store them for uh, some days, uh, you can take uh, either what you call a newspaper or non woven bags like mine and you stuff them. You stuff them inside. Why do you do this? So that your shoe can maintain its uh, shape. So that the shoe can maintain its shape. For example, when you are on holiday, and you're not putting on your shoes uh, every day. You require them to maintain uh, their shape. So once you, uh, for them to maintain their shape, you stuff them with either a new newspapers or non-woven bags. And then you store them, you pick your uh, shoelaces, you put them back, or you can hang them somewhere where you'll easily get them, or you can just put them back in your shoes like that. Once uh, you require to put them uh, to put on the shoes, uh, you will put the shoelaces back. Therefore, keep on practicing on how to take your care of your shoes, uh, especially the leather shoes. Uh, and I'm sure whenever you wear them, you'll always look smart uh, in them. Otherwise, uh, have a good time, and you're going to meet sometime.
Thank you.